By a show of hands, how many people made it that far? Am I right? Yeah. Oh, good. Then you're all right. That's, that's fantastic. If you made it that far and I made it that far, we hopefully we both did right. Did you get that as well? Cool. What would have made it worse? What type of endpoint would have really made it worse? Left. Left ones would have made it worse. Midpoints would have made it worse too, because you'd be cubing k minus one. Not horribly, horribly bad, but you'd have more things to deal with. That's why this was such a pain, because you had this mess, right? That mess kind of stunk it up a little bit. Not hard, not hard, just more work. Just more work. You can also do like k third over a third and put your cube root inside of it. From right here? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm saying if I had that. Oh, okay. Okay, that would have made it worse. That's what we were talking about. What would have made it worse than this? Okay. A left endpoint or a midpoint would have made this problem a lot harder. Are you okay with that one so far? Mm -hmm. What's the next step you do? Do the sum. Do the sum. there until you at least have something on your paper, so go for the sum. You probably should have a bracket. If you don't have one, put one on your paper, get in the habit of doing that, because you're not just multiplying this last little bit. You're multiplying the whole thing by delta x. Whatever the delta x happens to be, in our case, it's k over m. Oh, 1 over m. So, geez, shoot, you know, I looked right there. I'm sorry. By the way, uh, I just meant to do this to test you. <laughs> you guys are, oh, yeah. You I always do that. Fine. You're not buying that? You always do that. Darn it. I'm so good at doing that, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see it every time. <laughs> yeah, okay, one of Ren. Yeah, my bad. I was kind of looking at that and wondering, how are we going to deal with the k to the fourth? But, meh, I'm sure we would have dealt with it at some point. Anyway, do you feel okay with it so far? Raise your hand if you're just fine with it. You have that on your paper. Exactly like that. Cool. Now what? Split it. Probably make it a lot prettier. Before you can split anything, you have to deal with this multiplication. You can't split this up right now, it's being multiplied. So you have to distribute that. You have to think about this as k cubed over n cubed, so eventually you'll split it off. You have to move this 2 to the top or take that completely out later. I'd probably move it to the numerator right now just to be able to deal with it a little bit easier. So I'm going to multiply by 2, that's 2k over n. I'm going to multiply by 1 over n to both of those, and I'm going to make that k cubed over n cubed. That's our next three steps. Is it okay if we've already done that step previously? Like Over here? Yeah, I did, yeah I that's did fine. The two, two into k and then cubed everything much earlier and just kept comparing it out that way. So I've made things nicer inside. Now I'll distribute that 1 over n. And what we'll get is 2k over n squared minus k cubed over n to the fourth. And that should be in a parenthesis signifying that I'm, I'm taking the sum of that entire expression, not just the first part, not just the second part, the whole thing. Okay, now what would you like to do? Now you split it up. You can't pull out any k's yet. You can't. Unless you, you factor, you could do that, but that's probably not the easiest way to go. What we should do here is split these up into two different sums and then pull out all the constants. Are you following me or not? You sure? Remember, this is, this is easy because I'm doing it. When you get home, you need to follow the same steps.
why don't you go ahead and try to do the rest of this on your own? What I'd like you to do is take out everything that doesn't have to do with a K in front of your summation. Use the appropriate formula that I've given you from before, figure out that, that closed form, and then simplify it. After you simplify it as much as you can, then take a limit. I'll give you about two minutes to see if you can work on it. I'll do about one step every 10 or 20 seconds or so just to make sure you're on the right track. So look up here at the board every once in a while and you'll start seeing the steps. Make it that far on your own? Find the first one, squaring everything inside the parentheses, the second one, multiplying by one over n to the fourth. Just make it that far. Yes, no. Why isn't it cubed? Why is it not cubed? Um, the second part. Hey, did I mess the formula up? So. Unless my mind's completely flipped off out and I've, I've lost, flipped off. My mind's flipped off. It is flipped off today, I don't know. No, I think I believe it's squared. n times n plus 1 over 2, quantity squared uh, should be the formula I gave you. If you have a cubed, you might want to change it back. It's not cubed. Satisfied so far? Some of you look lost algebraically. Are you okay? I'm going to keep going. This one? Yeah. I was testing you. You passed. <laughs> that's two. Because I saw that four, and that's what I did. Yeah, thank you. I'm sorry about that, guys. My bad. 
Yeah, good catch. Thank you. That's why I ask you. Because I do this stuff too. Is everything else right? No. Check out. Okay. Please notice something that's going to happen here, the algebra. We're subtracting the, that entire last fraction, right? So when you subtract that entire last fraction and you split it up, it's not going to be plus 2n over 4n squared. It's going to be minus 2n over 4n squared. you see that? This will, by necessity, distribute when you split that up. It has to. So you're going to get minus 2n over 4n squared minus 1 over 4n squared. Do you see why? Do you see why? Yes or no? For instance, let, I can show it to you this way if you want. Uh, 5 minus 1 plus 3 over x, like that, would be 5 minus 1x plus 3x, right? Like that. That's what that means. So this would distribute to both of those. So that's the same thing, we're just using it three times here. Okay. Let's simplify. Unless I've made some sort of error, I think that's about what you get. Was anyone able to make it down that far on their own? Good. Good. If not, where did you make a mistake? Find out. Was it a sign? Was it simplification? That This is all about your algebra. Notice we basically stopped doing the calculus after that part, <coughs> finding the formula. And then this is all just some basic algebra. Now it comes back in the calculus. Once you get this right, we're going to take a limit. That's the last thing we'll do. So step number five, I should write right here. It's already nice and broken down for us. That's what's great about this. We didn't have to find a common denominator and divide everything by the largest power of the denominator. You can do it that way. It's a little bit more concise. This says, all right, the area, not an approximation anymore, the actual area, because we're taking n to infinity. It says, pack as many rectangles as, as possible and then some into that area. That means we're, there's not going to be any error whatsoever. You're going to get, well, what, what's this go to? This one? No. That's a constant. What's this one go to? What's this one go to? This one? This one? How much? That's what we're talking about. So you, we don't have to recombine all of our fractions for this. Heck no. No, why would you ever do that? Oh my gosh, no. I guess because I hate myself. Because you hate yourself on the homework. Because <laughs> you want to waste time. Take your limit. Then if you have to do it, combine them. You don't have to. This is so nice. Some uh, number over n, that works out very nicely for you, right? So use it. Shoot. Why not? Why not do it that way? Under what circumstances would you have to combine them? I can't think of one. <laughs> okay. So don't do it. <laughs> I can't think of one. <laughs> well, the only time you, you would is like uh, for some Reason, reason, if you wanted to combine these and make a common denominator, or if you didn't want to split this up, you could do it here, okay? Minus the limit of this, divide all this by n squared. And then you could do the same thing there. That's fine. I don't care how you do it. I'm just showing you that you can split it up. It's, it comes up very nicely. Then you have less work to do on your actual limit. The more you split up like this and have one term, it comes out just a piece of cake. No work on the limit, more work on the algebra. Or less work on algebra, more work on limit. Either way you go, you're going to get it right, provided you know how to work with this appropriately, with the correct sign, and you also know how to do your limit. Could you raise your hand if you're okay with getting the three fourths there? All right. <laughs>